This sketch was requested by the Fugitive Television. Oliver gay ass bitch hood, how fucking dare you and the faggot television get the gold card instead of me. Oh get over it and quit acting like an infant, you and hippo face don't deserve them. That's it bitch you're grounded for. Hey ketchup bottle. You will not lay a finger on Oliver, you hear me? No faggot television, because I deserve the gold card. Don't even think about it pencil neck you're grounded for the rest of this season. Time to go back to hell. Oliver and Fugitive are you two okay? Yeah Dareeman, we even sent Ketchup Bottle back to hell. Alright guys, just checking on something, if there's something wrong. Oh everything is okay for now Dareeman. I wonder if Ketchup Bottle takes it well in hell. Stupid ass bitch hood, and stupid ass faggot television, they got the gold card and grounded me to hell. The little fuckers are so grounded for this. How is that gay? It's just gay. It is so not gay. It is so gay. Look, it's not gay I just said it would be cool if I had a boyfriend who have cattails and paws. And that's why it's gay. No no no, he's a dude, it's not like he has boobs or anything he just has cat elements. That's gay. I mean like cat paws. I know. How can you not think that's like the hottest thing ever? Oh, because I'm bisexual. Well I'm straight, I'm talking about a dude with sexy neko cat looks. With sexy neko cat looks. That's gay. You are crazy. Girls, Brian said that you have to keep it down in here. Oh good, Emily's here. Okay Emily, you tell me when this gets gay. Okay. So, I'm hooking up with this smoking hot dude. Sure. He looks like a male version of Junko Inoshima. That's a little gay. Hold on. So we're making out in the mouth, mwim 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 mwim. Aha. Then I'm caressing his cheeks. Aha. Then we start cuddling each other. It's fine. Then I let him snuggle all over me. Sure. Then I'm wiping my cheeks with his cat tail and paws. Gay. What? Are you listening to one word that I'm saying? What about that is remotely gay? Cat tails, cat paws and others. They're attachable to a dude. You know, maybe what's confusing you ladies is that you think I'm talking about cat looks. Nope. Cause I could see where that would be gay. Oh yeah right. I may be talking about the cat looks. I'm talking about good old fashioned, perfectly nice, lightly misting, cat fur fragrance, awesome tails and paws. Forget the check please. I'm gonna go slow alright and you both just be completely honest with me. Having you both, always wanted, the boys to have hot cat looks. No! Oh, okay, alright, it's just me, it's just me. Yeah Kumi, it's totally just you. I'm the crazy one here I'm just crazy you know what, stop the car, stop the car. No. Okay, peep this. I made a little diagram last night via Gacha Club that should help you girls out with your little misunderstanding. So try, just try, and tell me that this is gay. What in the hell? Unbelievably. That's it you're both fired. I don't even care. It's not gay. Too little too late, get out. Ah. Alright everybody back to work, we have till next Friday to think up 4 new popcorn flavors. That's right. You've been watching, The Popcorn Factory Sketch, look for it online by name as, The Popcorn Factory Sketch. This sketch was requested by Sweet Lolly Blossom 2 with her roleplay account named Mario the Italian Plumber.
Hi, Ben. Hi, Sue. Well, Ben, you want to go out somewhere? Sure. Where do you want to go? I'm thinking about going to Olive Garden. How's that sound? Oh, I love how special this place is at Olive Garden. Welcome to Olive Garden. When we're here, your family, how may I help you too? Hello, we would like to have table for two. All right, you too. There's the next table available close to y'all. Hello, lovebirds. What food and drinks would you two like? I would like to have a chicken alfredo and a drink of Diet Coke. I'll have what she's having. All right, I'll be right back with your meals. Later on. God, this chicken alfredo is so great. It sure is, Sue. Best damn chicken alfredo we ever ate at the Plotagon Playback Theater. Welcome to Plotagon Playback Theater. What film you two want to see? I want two tickets to see Disney and Pixar's Finding Dory. You and Ben enjoy the film. Welcome to the snack bar. How may I help you? I would like to have two large icy cups with two large popcorn and a bag of tropical Skittles. All right. You two enjoy the flick in your snacks. Aren't you excited to see Finding Dory, Ben? You sure know that I wouldn't miss every moment. No chance in this Disney and Pixar memorabilia that they will miss. It's just as good as Finding Nemo and Toy Story. After the movie, Finding Dory was so great, Sue. Want to go to Kyaki Minami's arcade palace? Yeah, I love to, Ben. That movie was so much entertaining. I gotta get this on Blu-ray at Kyaki Minami's arcade palace. Hello, Sue and Ben. How are you two? Hello, Kiaki. We're doing well. So y'all are back for more video gaming at my arcade palace? We sure will, Kiaki. You two have fun then. <laughs> Ken is going to kick Felicia's ass with the gem chain combos. <laughs> Not until Felicia have something to do from losing. What a beautiful day to have their childhood to relive. And what can I help you, my favorite hero? Academic troops. Hours of fun later. I had a great fun time with you, Ben. As do I, Sue. I love you so much, Ben. I love you too, Sue. This sketch was requested by Mike the Mountain Map and Kevin McCarrison. Hello, you stupid ass teeth porn haters. It's me, Frederick McFucking Dougal, and today I will bring back the almighty sex machine, Red Teeth Boris, as Earth Moon Zinthos. Am I back to Earth? That's right, Boris. I even enabled back your Plotagon logic skills and got your original attire in your hands. All right, let's kick some ass. Meanwhile, anything else for you, Daruman? Yeah, do you have a plush toy of Lilith and Slant? Like the same version of Morrigan? What in the hell? Oh crap, no. Shut up, faggot. I'm back to make America great again. Wait a second. How can you make America great again with your red teeth blaspheming sequences? I said shut up, gay. You're grounded. What is the matter with you, pencil neck? What's the matter with you? Having those criminals to send me to hell when I don't deserve to, so you're also grounded. What? Holy shit. What is going on? I ran them customers out by putting two assholes into sleep. So let's steal some good shit. Oh no, not anymore. What? Pencil neck aka catch a bottle you are in deep deep ass trouble. You have committed murder so here comes your daily dose of instant karma. Oh no! You two are so grown. <laughs> oh shit I gotta. Get out! Frederick McDougal you're once again and again in deep trouble. What are you talking about? We saw you summon catch a bottle with Plotagon logic. I didn't do it you idiot! Come on come you let's beat up that criminal supporter. The Karen's and Cat Scratch Fuck Face. Man, I can't believe that the movie trading company is temporarily closed. Yeah, it's such a bitch. Hey guys, what the hell is up? How did you get back, fellas? Kevin and Cummy brought us back to life. Good to be all back. This situation wouldn't have been a disaster if you mind your own businesses, your ass wipes. Fuck you. Pencil Neck deserved to rot in hell. Now go to sleep and think about what you two did. Hey Asuka, how's the report coming on? So far so good. Oh, 
It's about the history of the Evangelion franchise that the most you could to be part of. Sure is Mason. It's been a very long ass time that one of them Evangelion shows on Cartoon Network's late night program that is Adult Swim. Why is De Violet from your game so fiendish, ruthless, and spoiled rotten? You're talking about Princess De Violet to death, Satan 9. Oh, she's so spoiled rotten that she's one dangerous princess. She and her two lackeys Dave the Scientist and Xavier the Wizard fly around space stealing armor parts. Wow, I also heard that she has a massive crush on a 63-year-old man named Gawain Murdoch. Well, Gawain knows better than that bullshit because he's way too old for that spoiled bitch. Oh, 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 Emily Muvalvowski, how fucking dare you send both of us to hell? Hush up, Dylan. Plotagon got us into this mess. I didn't do it. Fuck you, sweetheart. You are grunts, 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 grunts for 43 chers. Sweetie pie, kiss my ass and bite my butter finger. What the hell kind of place is this? What do you mean, what the hell kind of place is this? It's the sarcophagus. It sure is one crazy son of a bitch in the historical Egyptian concept, is it not? If Ramses III never drowned to death, we would have seen him rule the Egyptian clan. Well, DeLorean, it's been a long time since we last time spoke to each other. I know, Kami. I really missed being with you ever since the vaginal yond community got out of hand. It feels like we're having some special reunion after we're out of this atrocious community. Thank God I'm in the Plottergon community, even though it's also messed up, but it wouldn't got any worse. Hey there, Morrigan. Hey there, Megarok. Do you have a magic word that will make Baldi appear out of nowhere? Hello, bitches. I'm Violi the Red Hot Sex Machine Teeth Girl, and today I'm gonna going to murder Megafuck and Morrigan Fagsland. Fuck yeah, I do Mega Man. What is it, Morrigan? Baldi's a bitch motherfucker, so he can kiss my ass. Prick! You foul Capcom shit licking jackasses. <laughs> Sketch was requested by Ritada the Ultra Flarian. Oh my god. Surprise Rosa, you're finally 18 years old. Oh hell yeah peeps, I'm thrilled to have a party like this. Come on you fuckers, let's boogie. Oh my god! Even though this is repetitive, but fuck anyone who says what I said. Goddamn right Henry, even the soundtrack gets heavier and more badass. This party kicks so much ass as always, right Helga? Damn right it is a boob. No one will stop Rose's party ever. God, All this music and this fucking cocktail is the best and the most badass concoction of the art of partying. You were goddamn right, nothing can stop the party now. What in the hell? Turn that motherfucker off! What the hell? Hey, but you can't just go in and- You shut up, pervert gay. You pests realize that y'all are forbidden to celebrate parties and other shit. Now we're sending y'all back homes with Plotagon logic. I envy both of you for killing my boyfriend. Why did you two ruin the party for? You're not even fair. You disgraceful fucks. What were you two thinking? If I see Dick again and Christine on my bitch, I'm gonna kick him in the fucking balls. Shut up, shithead. Eventually. Rosemary fucking cross Erie, we have had it with you for the last fucking time. I can't believe you started your 18th birthday party when you're forbidden to do so. Now this is the final straw. Let me guess. I'm grounded again, right? No, we're kicking your ass out of the house because we fucking hate you. We cannot have a better life with you anymore. Don't say anything, just pack your trash, don't let the door hit you in the ass, and get out of our motherfucking lives. But mom and dad... Get up, get gone, we gotta keep on keeping on. Please don't send me away. Too much pain, and too much strife, 
so up yours and get out of our lives. I can't believe I got kicked out of my parents' house, can this day get any worse? Wow. Why does bad things happen to good people like me? Good people like you my ass, I heard that you're kicked out of your former parents' house. Oh come on, I thought that the worst part of my life is over. Oh no ma'am, you're going to deal with us as your legal guardians. This is unacceptable, I want to get out of this nightmare and never come back. G Shut up, get your shit in the car. Because you will live with us and you're gonna like it bitch. Oh, one more thing. God. Uh, I just got my primarily voice back and I'm forced to deal with this one again. That's all for now, the end. Alright racers, three, two, one, go! Leading off is Bob Vicious, and bringing up the rear is Future Glue, followed by Shavas Way, and Mother's French from work. Oh, here comes, may the horse be with you followed by, gambling is a disease, and he's followed by, grass on the field, who's neck and neck with, deep dish pepperoni pizza, and my ex-wife is a horse, following them is hung like a horse, and Raymond and now is, secretary, secretary, whoa, what, oh, damn, Oh, horses are still going, uh, and the horses are running around the circle, and uh, they are running around the circle, and they are still running around the circle, and are, uh, uh, doing very well, especially the brown horse, who is in the lead. I wonder who the winner is. Are you sure Deep Dish Pepperoni Pizza will win? We can only hope coming. And the brown horse is still. Oh, we have a winner. And the winning horse was. That's right, he won. I can't believe this. I just wasted 50 bucks for nothing. This horse derby bet is now closed. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Rick. And I'm Judy. And guess what? We're starting a play about both us end up injured and someone got special powers. It does sound ridiculous. But God gave us the powers. What madman could think about stopping me? Mind blast. Ouch. Give it to me straight, doctor. How did I get those special powers? Well, Judy, according to you and Rick, both of you we are born with powers and didn't enabled until your injuries. I will rule the world, you clumsy fool. Not if I kick your sorry butt first, peasant. Back off, the healing booth is mine. You back off. This play will arrive at Fort Worth, Texas. Y'all better not miss this play, it's gonna be great. Injured Savior, The Adventures of Rick and Judy. The play starts at the Plotagon City Community Center in June 11th and 12th. Hashtag Plotagon Rick Roll. Hi. I'm Bobby, and today I'm gonna hunt down people who decided to insult me. Lol, do you see something valuable, John? Lol, 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 not as of yet, Mason. Lol, 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 I wonder if the red teeth losers are going to give up. Lol, 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 I hope they will coda. Yeah, 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 we're finally gonna get married, Emily. Yeah, 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 I am so super excited for this dream to come by. Oh, 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 how dare we enjoy some exercise, cummy? That's it. We will be grances for 43 chers. Oh, 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 that enough. We go, what the reman son of bitch. Lol, 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 lol. What we fucking thinking about? Lol, 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 lol. We think we could people ask for treaters like shit. Hello, fuckers. I am Boris the Teeth Guy, and I am going to kill Baldy and punish him in hell. I think I searched everything I can, so it's clean. Hey Baldi, we have a situation here. What is it, guys? Stupid shit eater, you're blowing my cover. Well, I think Ketchup Bottle stole my wallet. Yeah, Ketchup Bottle stole my wallet. He did what? Do it now. Hello, I'm Gerald. And I'm Baldi. And today we're going to participate this year's character elimination contest. We'll see if Gerald and I can last long. 
outlets of the mega stalkers to ask who will win and lose. Hey Frank, what characters you expect to win and lose? I want to see some Marvel Capcom or SNK people to win. And I can't wait for Ketchup Bottle to get out as early as part 2. What character you want to go for the gold and go home with nothing in return? We're getting Gerald Body the Kenny Matsuko twins from the Uchiyama twins to win. And we're gonna see Dr. Eggman to lose as soon as possible. Tell us which character whom will win and will lose. I like to see DeLorean and or one of the Titan Academy characters to win. And if Horrid Henry will be in I hope he'll be done in an instant. Oh, my food is ready. What character you want to see win and lose? Any character possible, like Gerald Baldy, Chloe or any of them. If it will be either Ketchup Bottle or Hippo Face we want them out immediately. Which character who will win and lose? I like to see you, Morgan, or anyone win while seeing Dr. Wily and Yano Aishi to lose. Please tell us which characters who will win and lose. We're going to see Gerald Baldy, Dalryman and Pikako to go for the gold while Horrid Henry, Yano Aishi, Wily and Eggman get eliminated early. There will be 80 characters. 70 elimination vacancies. Seven runner-up entries. Three trophies with a big fat ass load of cash. Four teams split up and soon to be free for all. Whoever tries to cheat will have their asses spanked with our almighty rulers. Character Elimination 2022. The fate of crossovers. New Age of Alliance starts June 2022. American Skyways. Welcome to American Skyways. We're happy to have you on board. I'm your captain and I'll be taking you through the basic safety procedures of this here aircraft. Let's go. So, everyone thinks flying is a happy time, right fellas? Right. Right. Wrong. It's very serious business with danger lurking around every corner. At any given moment you can be sucked out the window and you'll die by either freezing to death or you will asphyxiate from lack of oxygen. Then your lifeless body will plummet 40,000 feet to the ground and shatter into a million pieces. Or, you'll fly out the other way and be sucked into deep space where your body will never be found by your family. Ever. What in God's name? Now that's just all fucked. So let's talk about safety, shall we? Seat belts. What's your name, son? My name's Burt Reynolds. If you don't know how to use a seat belt by now, you're fucked. But I'm required by law to show you how. So you take one end of the seat belt. And you take the other, and then you jam them together, like so. What is it? What is he doing? Somebody make him stop. The restroom. Hurry up, I'm prairie dogging. It isn't safe for passengers to form a line out here in front of the lavatory, so there's now a 30 second time limit in there. Wait, wait, what? Ah! Oh, these rules are absurd. Best to hurry up, time's already ticking partner. Oh crap. Oh, and going on number two is no longer permitted. What? When did that rule take effect? Uh, 10 seconds. Oh god, that's not enough time. SECURITY! We got a guy taking a code too. Prepare for pull out. What are you doing? Pull out. Screw off. No! What are you doing? Oxygen masks. If cabin pressure changes, the panels above your head will open to reveal oxygen masks. Pull the mask over your head and breathe normally. Oxygen is flowing though, so don't worry if the bag doesn't inflate. My goodness this is crazy. Excuse me, but why are the bags have holes on them? Just kidding, they're all broken. <laughs> Fuck. Emergency exits. In case of a life-threatening emergency, there are emergency exits to your left. In case of a hunger emergency, there is salad, to your right. Terrorism. To prevent a terrorist hijacking, be sure to alert a crew member of any minorities you see on the plane. Now that's fucked up. Water landings. In the event if a water landing? What is it? What should we do? 
<laughs> all right, let's face it, we'd all die. <laughs> snakes. In the event the plane becomes overrun with snakes, be sure you have a black guy on board to exclaim how tired he is of said snakes. What? what? Smoking. Smoking is not allowed on this plane. All planes have very terrible gas leaks and will explode if someone were to light a match. I'm sorry, what? What was that, love? Oh, no! You okay, Coda? I just had this vision where someone lit a match and the plane exploded. What? 